three of the most famous fictional characters of all time, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Peter Pan, and Sherlock Holmes, all have several things in common. The most obvious link is London, since London is a primary scene in the stories of all three. My videos are not about England, but about Scotland, and the link I want to explore is how all three characters were not only written by people born in Scotland, but arguably are all based on real-life people from Scotland. Let us begin with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I must admit I have yet to read the story, but I have read and very much enjoyed other books written by the author, Robert Louis Stevenson, whose works include Treasure Island and Kidnapped, two great stories. Stevenson came from a long line of famous lighthouse builders who traveled to some of the most remote and rugged places around Scotland, overseeing the building of lighthouses. The story of their work is fascinating and perhaps a subject for another video. The story of Dr. Jekyll is the story of a man who appeared mild-mannered, but who also had a dark side, a Mr. Hyde. No doubt there were several things that inspired Stevenson to write the story, but it appears he first became interested in the idea when hearing the tale of William Brodie, or Deacon Brodie as he's often known. In public, Brodie was known as a well-respected cabinet maker and also a locksmith who lived and worked in Edinburgh. In fact, Stevenson's father is thought to have owned some, some furniture made by Brodie. The title deacon does not refer to a position in a church, but rather that he was a high-ranking member of a local trade guild. But there was a hidden side to Brodie. He became a master thief, stealing not so much because he wanted the money, but because of the thrill. Eventually he was caught and, and hanged. Today in Edinburgh, on the Royal Mile, you will see Deacon Brodie's pub named in his honor. Peter Pan, that famous boy who would never grow up, has appeared in many plays, movies, and television shows. He was created by J. M. Barrie, who was born in Kiriamir, Scotland. He wrote many books and plays, but of course his most famous works centered around Peter Pan. Though Peter was named after a young boy Barry befriended while living in London, the character was inspired by his own brother David, who died at a young age in Scotland. He was his mother's favorite, and she did not want to let him go, seeing him as a boy who would never grow up. By his own admission, Barry started creating the idea of Peter Pan in Netherland as a boy while playing in the garden at Moat Bray in Dumfries, Scotland. The final character, Sherlock Holmes, is in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most portrayed literary human character, though not the most portrayed fictional character, as Dracula holds that position. Probably the most famous detective in the Western world, Holmes is about as London as you can get. However, Arthur Conan Doyle, the writer, was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. I admit, until making this video, I thought his last name was Conan Doyle, but it is in fact just Doyle, Conan being his middle name, though generally they are linked together, and they were even used by Doyle himself as linked. Doyle often wrote and said that he based the character of Sherlock Holmes largely upon a man named Joseph Bell. Bell, pictured here, was also born in Edinburgh, and became a surgeon and a lecturer in the medical school of the University of Edinburgh, which is where Doyle met him. Doyle not only attended his lectures, becoming a doctor himself, but also served as Bell's clerk in the Royal Infirmary. Bell was famous for his emphasis on observation and analyzing using inductive reasoning. He would often deduce what a patient did for a career based on observing them. He was also a pioneer in forensic science, helping out with several important criminal cases. There are actually two other doctors that some believe Holmes was based on. Bell wrote to Doyle saying that it was clear that Holmes was based more on Doyle himself, who was consulted by police on occasion in criminal matters. The second was Henry Littlejohn, who was Medical Officer of Health for Edinburgh and served as police surgeon and medical advisor to the Crown on Scottish criminal cases. He would work with Bell on many cases, and Bell would claim in later life that it was actually Littlejohn that Holmes was based on. Some modern writers write that Littlejohn was essentially Holmes, while Bell served as Watson. In any case, the famous fictional London detective Sherlock Holmes was certainly based, at least in part, on one, if not all three of these doctors, who are all associated with Edinburgh. It is, of course, hard to say who fictional characters are based on, but it is interesting that all three of these famous characters, at the very least, had some Scottish influence, since all three authors were born in Scotland and were exposed to real-life Scottish characters. I hope you enjoyed this speculative journey. For now, goodbye.